Hey, what's up everybody? Quick video here. I have five cards that I snapped out of uh, other grading company cases that I'm going to be sending off to SGC here. Uh, shortly, I don't know exactly when, probably within the next couple of weeks, I would say. I'm trying to figure out what order I'm going to put together. And uh, yeah, some of them were in these, you know, obscure grading company holders. A couple BGS ones that I don't collect BGS for my collection. That's just my personal preference. And then one that I could have sent back to PSA to have reholdered simply because it was in an old PSA, uh, you know, uh, label. And I just, because I'm just having some issues with them right now, I decided not to, not to even give them the money to re-slab it. So I snapped it out. It is not a high dollar card whatsoever. It's, it's a, I'll show you in a sec. But anyway, let's start with this one. This is Joe Jervicious Future Watch from SP Authentic. It's numbered out of 2,500. And I thought I'd just show you guys, you know, here's the, here's the old label. All right. So the final authority gave it an eight. They said the corners were an eight. The edges were an eight surface, 10 centering, 10. And the final grade was an eight, which I just don't feel like it was. Uh, I looked at the card. I don't see a whole lot wrong with the corners and I certainly don't see, I literally don't see anything wrong with the edges. So unless. I am completely blind at this point in my now 43 years of age. Uh, I'm going to send this to another company to see what they have to say. So I'll hold on to that label. And when it comes back, we'll take a look. Uh, this one I bought, I want to say I bought this last summer. And it came in this Gem Elite, which was, you know, another obscure grading company. It's the Rookies, Albert Pujols. It says it was a pristine 10. And, uh... <laughs> This is why these were, these were their subs. Um, I'm happy if I can get like a nine or a nine five on this card from SGC. So we'll see what happens, but there's that one. Here's the really low dollar <laughs> Fred Taylor, which I just should send in to get reholdered. But I mean, honestly, I just wanted an SGC slab for my rookie collection. And I just said the heck with PSA. I'm cause I'm, I'm kind of over them right now. Let's snap it out and send it to see what they say. They said it was a nine a long time ago. I mean, this look at that. This slab was 1,178,927, so long, long time ago. Um, This red refractor of Stanton from 2018 Chrome Update, I just thought it's out of 25. It, it was given a 9.5 by BGS. There's the subs if you want to take a look. Um, the surface got a nine. Now, I looked at the surface. It looked like it just had some... You know, people touch it, they don't wipe. I don't go crazy about wiping stuff off, but like if you can see a visible fingerprint, <laughs> you can just take a microfiber and wipe it off. Um, so that one I'm hoping, like let's let's hope it gets a 9.5. Be great if it could get a 10, if not, it doesn't matter. And then just this, I, I, I just really liked this card when I saw it online. I was like, man, Liriano, he had a couple great years and uh, it was a rookie auto to 299. It wasn't very much, but it was in a BGS holder. And they gave it a nine. Um, here, you guys can check out the subs there. Uh, the surface was a little weird to me. Maybe I could see why it got a nine five, but everything else honestly looked pretty good. So we'll see what SGC has to say about that. And it did get the 10 auto on that. So that's really it. Uh, nothing too crazy there. As I said, it's just five cards that'll be in a bigger order that I sent off, but I wanted to show you that I had snapped them out. Uh, I was going to try to film the actual snapping process, but man, that is, uh, it's, it's one of those things where I think if you've done it before, you know what I'm talking about. It's just crazy. There's plastic flying all over the place. You don't really need like, I don't know. Plus like when you're trying to get the card out, it can be a little like nerve wracking. And I think people watching are going to, would be like, Oh my God, he's going to just ruin that card. But you know, that's just kind of how I do it. And it, it takes time. Just the angles and stuff are weird. So I didn't, I didn't even want to film it. Um, however, if you're new to snapping cards out for whatever reason, whether you want to cross them over and get an unbiased opinion, meaning don't send them in the case, snap it out, or you feel like the card was, uh, not graded properly, you know, snap it out and send it, uh, to a different company. I would recommend getting a pair of these, these Husky pliers, you know, this is like with the ones with the sharp edge, so you can really cut there and then grab yourself a longer uh, flathead screwdriver because you want to be able to have enough leverage to get into that case and then kind of pry it open. 
Um, but you got to be very careful doing it. I, I would, I'll admit, I would say seven, eight years ago when I first started snapping stuff out, um, I, I wrecked a couple cars. <laughs> Luckily, they weren't too crazy. Um, I just didn't know what I was doing, but that's how you learn from your mistakes, right? You try to do it better and way more carefully. Anyway, so again, pliers, flathead. Some people use the oop, some people use the, as I throw the pliers and stuff on the cards. Uh, some people use a like a little um, circular saw. You can do that too. I haven't done that. Um, I just have always been doing it this way, so that's just what I prefer. Again, I couldn't film it because it was just too crazy, but I hope you guys enjoy. And uh, yeah, when the order comes back with these grades, I will upload that, of course, and we'll see how we did. Take it easy.